projects watch this is Sir P. now you see your favorite gang is it much different from your favorite walk to this or your favorite politician what may I talk about they all enjoy when poor people are dependent on them let me say that one more time your favorite gang your favorite walk to this trade politician them love it when poor people are dependent on them they can swoop in do some charity tricks take some pictures and appear to save the day yes and yes about gangs yes gangs do it too that's why they put on them treat and them thing there you know to win over the people as a seat we care even gangs understand the power of charity tricks they actually learned it from politicians you see a favorite leaders bring in 20 policies where hurt people and then put on one big treat and them things so this can slit out and people say oh you talk about the treat when put on remember one time when you bring this come and give you this we now look on the bigger picture look at talk about gangs and how them stop poor people from bettering themselves I see a video I go around and it's basically a robbery going down and if you never get catch one video enough people wouldn't believe who carry out the robbery because you know it got ready unfortunately the simple minded have been dominating the narrative for a while so when time any issue come up when time any topic come up them jump up with that woodwork you all fight against this and you all fight against that you all fight against the youths I'm telling you not we really fight against youths gangs and criminals yes because you see the things that them do end up hurt law abiding hard working youths for example the type of youth them who do the bearer work the delivery work right them ride the bike them and then deliver food some of them work for some companies some of them are independent the whole bike delivery thing has turned out to be a very good opportunity for a lot of young men in particular right because you know in jamaica when it comes down to crime and violence it disproportionately affects young men contrary to popular belief it's men who kill and get killed the most right now we even have youths in the PIA, right? We ride them biker. Once the bike are run good, right? Orders are coming in, them can actually make money and provide for themselves. But now, the biker youth them are coming under greater scrutiny. Why? Why them are coming under scrutiny and by who? Well, the security forces. The police have stopped stop them and have started searching them. Why are they actually targeting the bike man them so much? It's because 87s realize, say, they now have an opportunity to carry out the near perfect robberies. I said near perfect because the only way it go back for them is if they catch them in the act. There's a video circulating on social media. Right? I posted it on Patreon. But it's all over the place. Right? May I show you a screen grab from it. It's a 87 who look like Sima Beera. Look like Sadi Livera Kimado. But I rob my rap people. Ride around. Stick them up with them things this disguise is perfect for criminals because them get to wear a helmet right, without raising suspicion but normally if you see man come towards you in face cover up you might get kind of spooked and so on and go on but a biker right, is supposed to ride in helmet so you see man a rider come towards you with helmet on you know take much of it right, on top of that he might have the delivery thing on him back so you say, oh, it's a beer man at work, but it's actually 87 at the film work. Them stick up people, them rob people, take out them phone, shoot people, carry out murders, all under the disguise of being a beer. So now, the security forces have to respond. Them have to respond right, by pulling over more youths and a search more youths. So that means that youth them who are actually law-abiding youths are get caught up in it. But the police don't have a choice. What are they going to do? Just say, well, leave all bike man alone. But you see the catch 22. If you pull over enough bike youths, including the one them that are not criminals, then it becomes an issue of boy, you pressure the bike man them. But if you don't pull them over, right, then you're leaving law abiding citizens like lamb to the slaughter. Right? Man, we just ride one and rub and rub and rub all day. So, where are you going to know? Well, your favorite walk to this, your favorite symbol to tell you, say, Why the police them wicked? Look at them pull over the man them. I realize that 
we don't have energy for everybody except the criminals. The real problem here are the criminals who are disguising themselves as bearers. That's who we must have the energy for. Because if them not do what them are do, then the police wouldn't need to pull over so much man and a search for gun and all them things. We even see an article come out of the papers where the bureau man them say they are annoyed that criminals are helping marshal them business. Because two criminals are carrying out so much robbery with the bike them, right? With the delivery bag on them back and I go at my beer, no civilians and police are nervous when them see bike man come with things on them back. Them don't know who is who. Explain to me, Mr. Walk to this, how would you know who is who? How does the police or a civilian differentiate between a youth who are ride on a bike right, that is doing his legal job, making his legal money, and a 87? They look exactly the same. So now you have a youth right, who is a legit law abiding youth, right, more than likely come from a low income background, probably a ghetto youth, probably a youth from some rural community. Right. Get him a little bike, put him back on him back, and a go around and a deliver food. But now, because of your favorite criminals, right, dressing like him, police are pulling him over. And he might get searched, and he might get slowed down because you know them man they like to deliver them food fast. And he can't deliver the food fast because he might get pulled over if he get searched. And he might get pulled over if he get searched because 87 are use the same bike them and the same bag them are going and rap people. So now everybody is inconvenient. Right? The beer man, inconvenience because him slow down now, food take longer for deliver. The customer is inconvenient because they might wait for them food right, and they take longer than normal. So now they vex with the beer. Vex and say, right, they can't bother because we, we might do so long. You know who don't lose out in all of this? 87s. So instead of us getting to the criminals and calling out the criminals and say, stop, mash up, use them progress, stop, mash up, use them way of life, stop, Damage reputation of bearers, my long time viewers them um, remember a video I did talking about how gangs right, prevent economic growth in inner cities. I mean real economic growth. Now I talk about the little treat them with them put on them little Mickey Mouse business eh, right with them hand out this and hand out that. I talk about economic growth to the people them can actually help themselves. Some of the best jerk chicken you know people have talked about when they talk about the jerk chicken, some of the best jerk chicken you can get. Come from some place where eh? are traditionally volatile communities, bad man place. Some of the best hairdressers, some of the best nail technicians you need come from bad man place. But when war go on, when gangs start extort and demand this and demand that, the money can't make. So when you see say, gangs and criminals in general right, have a negative effect on any form of real economic growth. Keyword real. If him and him gang wasn't there, you wouldn't have to link him for nothing. Because your chicken and chips are the best chicken and chips in the world of Kingston. And people from all over Jamaica, all over Kingston and St. Andrew, would have drive going to the community to go buy it from you. But they not drive going there because they're free. Right? If you really want to make money, if residents in a bad man place, residents in a quote unquote ghetto, really want to make money, then people who don't live in the same community have to come in there, come spend some money. People from uptown, downtown, round town, right? Have to go in the community to spend with you and make some money. And them time they that see real growth. Them time they that see some real numbers put up. Right? But people from outside their community, now come in a your community, come buy a jerk chicken and do them ear. Right? And got your party, cause them afraid of gangs. But on the love gangs, on the love badness, on the love on the damn them on the 87 them. So let me not try and come between. A good relationship, you know. Tell them say don't mash up a happy home. Now, before me end the video, I want to show you something. Since the beginning of this channel, one of the things I've tried very hard to do right, is to show the people them right, real information, real research. You can look at the things them way. Your favorite scholars them, your favorite experts them have been feeding the Jamaican public downright rubbish. Some of those things include Jamaica was always this murderous nation with this very high Murder rate completely false. I've debunked that before. I'm sure when you there was a time in Jamaica when our murder rate was lower than the United States. And in this time, our unemployment rate was much higher. Our literacy rate 
was much lower. In other words, less people could read and write, right? Don't even matter talk about overall poverty, social mobility, all these things were much worse. And yet still Jamaica had a lower murder rate than the United States. In 1965, Jamaica had 65 murders. 65 in 65. So, I've been trying to show this that the idea that Jamaica top murder child because of economic reasons, right, is simply absurd. So my dream, right, like Nisbet Tilla say, my dream is to one day somebody from a foreign come tell them to say, that them in a sense. Because I realize say, the only thing better than a Jamaican with a big title is a foreigner. I don't love foreigners, right? I idolize foreigners. Foreigners word worth worth it more, right? The foreign man ice is colder than local man ice. So now, we have another chart to show me. This time we are compared Jamaica to the rest of the world. So since we're on the topic of youths, you know, young people, especially young men, and the bike riding and them things, one of the things in normal here is like, you know, unemployment is why Jamaica has such a high murder rate. If Jamaica would just bring down its unemployment and the murder rate would come down with it, look at what the rest of the world look like. I'm not even going to show no overall unemployment here because right now, Jamaica is having Record low unemployment, 6%. I'm not going to show no youth unemployment because most of the 87 of them are youths. Right? And then we're going to compare the rest of the world. Look on your screen. As you can see, every month, right, current youth unemployment is about 17%. Let's call it 18. Look on the countries and beside that. Portugal above Ariman, Luxembourg, yes, Luxembourg, right, not far off Ariman. Right? You know, Luxembourg have one of the lowest murder rates in the world, right? And also one of the most prosperous nations. They do it even with an unemployment rate that is very similar to Ariman. You see countries like Croatia, even El Salvador, again, lower than France. You know, El Salvador, that is also frequently on the murder charts list. Interesting, because I'm telling you, say, unemployment has a causal effect and a high murder rate. Based on the way I see us, does that make sense? I mean, look on the European Union. The average youth unemployment rate for the European Union is 13.8. Ironman is 17.7. Not that far off. Let me show one of the people them who actually have a very high youth unemployment rate. And then on the spot, the one them that top the murder charts. Ready? Let's see. Now, if you look on your screen, you see some countries that actually have very high youth unemployment rate. According right, to the argument, they say youth unemployment rate has a causal effect on high murder rate. Right? Once the youth them now work and the murder rate are go high, then these countries should have a murder rate much higher than Ariman. Much higher than Trinidad and Tobago and them places. Eh? Let's pick a country, shall we? We pick a country with a very rough history. A country that has been through some things that Ariman has never seen in our worst nightmare. Kosovo. The youth unemployment rate in Kosovo is right there on your screen. Matter of fact, we could go back a bit earlier because we want to see if they have a history of youth unemployment rate. Now what does this say? Kosovo unemployment rate right, was reported 46% in March 2019. Interesting. It was 51.4% for December 2018. It was 48.6% for 2016. So in other words, a long time they might have high youth unemployment. Half. Let's call that half. 50%. Ariman is 17%, 18%. The European Union average, 14%. Kosovo having 50%. Do you want to see Kosovo's murder rate? If you write this up on your screen. Again, tell me how a country, notice me now, picking the European country that may have been stable and peaceful and whatever for a very long time. I pick a country with a very rough history. If you don't know about the Kosovo war, if you don't know about the history with you know, the Kosovo and Albanians and the Yugoslavia, as it was called back then, I didn't go check it out. We're talking about a country that in their recent history, fight a war. Right. People displaced, so much lives lost. Here they are now. Right. Not much opportunity in the country. 
got a devastation to this day. Right? People don't rebuild much. 50% youth unemployment rate. Well, look on the murder rate. There is no economic explanation for Jamaica topping murder charts. Absolutely none. And if you look at the countries that top the murder charts, top 5, top 10, there's no economic reason why they're there either. Because it's not because of the use them poor why countries have high murder rate. That's not it at all. And as I've said before, the old argument said once you get a work, you might have stop bad. Doesn't add up, you know why? Because the type of quote unquote work that gangs take part in uh, make wholly more money than any legal job you can have, not just in Jamaica but in most first world country. Research the average salary in our country like say Canada right, or Switzerland and place there. And then convert the money in Jamaican dollars. Then you will see that the figure you get, a scammer can make that in a 3-4 days. A gang extorting people in Jamaica can make that in 3-4 days, a week. A diet coke smoker can make that in a couple of days. Do you know why we point that out? Because the idea is say, if you get to work, the man will stop bad and the man stop giant gang and the man stop the this. Doesn't make sense because there's no job in Jamaica, there's no job in Canada, there's no job in America, right? That will pay a youth who is looking for fast money and satisfying. None. The average salary in Canada converted to Jamaican dollars will not satisfy your favorite scammer. It make wally more than that. Wally more. People are motivated by fast money. Criminal lifestyle. There is no job the market in Jamaica to make them so alright. Time to put on this scam in now. So that's why when time unemployment right, go down, they don't see any effect when the gang war them for a fight over scamming or a fight over this and that. Those youths don't care. The type of money where they want to make and how fast they want to make it, no job can satisfy them. But don't take my word for it. And this look at YouTube. Satin can tell you, the people who collect data can tell you about the kind of poverty that exists in places like St. Thomas, St. Mary, Portland. Especially Portland. Anyway, Patreon Squad, big up on yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know more life. Patreon Squad, see you circling. Peace.